What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. Glad you could join us. Isaiah's at the movies with his grandparents. He got a little, little time, a little time away from uh, from the family. He can have just, you know, time with his grandparents. So he's enjoying that. What movie did he go see, do you know? Uh, I can't remember. We don't know. Uh, we are, we are in a dirty house. Look at this, this place is filthy. Look at all this junk. Look at it. Don't be showing my house. Well, you know, it's real life. We gotta get the house picked up. We're gonna do that this afternoon. We're gonna procrastinate and do that later. <laughs> Abby and I are gonna go see if my parents are at the RV park. We haven't been able to get a hold of them on their phones. You guys have that problem with, with the elderly? They're not really elderly, but <laughs> older folks and their cell phones. Like, why do you have a phone? Earlier, Priscilla called her mom. She's like, I couldn't get a hold of you. She's like, oh, my phone was off in my purse. When do you ever turn your phone off on a Sunday? It's not like she was at a doctor's appointment or something. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have that issue. We do. I can't get a hold of my dad, but they're probably there. But we're going to go and possibly ride the golf cart at the RV park. We'll see. We'll see. I would love to take Abby. It's been so long since she's been on a golf cart. Uh, Priscilla's going to get her nails done. It's so bad. I need my nails done. Okay. What? I didn't say anything. I just said okay. Why do you always assume? I normally do not go on the weekends when my family is at the house, but I did kid stuff all week. Yeah, so. that's true. She hasn't been able to go all week. She was planning on going like every day of the week, but hasn't <laughs> yeah. been able to go. And yeah. then this this evening, we're gonna cook some steaks and just hang out. And we, me and you, might go see a movie. Maybe. Maybe we'll see. We we've been talking about going on a little mini date and going to yeah. see a movie for a long time. We haven't done it, so we'll see. Yeah. Maybe. I'll pencil you in. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Get your iPad right now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's gonna give me attitude. Just that being, is not autism. That is teenagerism. She's being defiant. Come on. Come on. Did you tell them why the couch is all disheveled? Well, you We're know, washing, washing all the couch. The cushion, cushion covers. covers. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. Cleaning day. Do you need something? Fish. <laughs> Ab's angry. Uh, lack of communication and lack of understanding of what we're doing. So she's mad. And we probably have a lack of understanding why she's mad. Just a lack of understanding all around. Would you like music? You gotta tell us, darling. You gotta use your iPad, use your sign language. Close enough, you don't, you don't have enough room on your side. It's 
a gas powered car, so she's a little nervous because it makes some engine noise. No, we're gonna go in the car. Wasn't that fun? No, we're going in the car. Okay. Yes, get in the car. Come on, in the car. I, okay, we can go to the potty, we can stop at the bathroom, but you gotta get in the car. You don't have to go to the bathroom, do you? You're just saying that. Jump in. Good job, Ab. Good listening. We're gonna go meet her brother at a store. He wants to go to a store. So, we're gonna meet him there. Abby, we're going out in public with other people. Can you, can you like, not be meh? Can you do that? Huh? Yeah, that's what I figured. I think you need a nap. Not like a little kid nap, like a teenager nap. You need one of those naps. I'm so happy that you're here. Hey, hey, because she's listening so well. Abigail, stop. See, she's told you, to she's listening so well. It's the next day. We didn't finish the vlog yesterday. Abigail was not in a great mood, so uh, we just kind of quit <laughs> vlogging for the day. She just wasn't having it. Just, you know, not vlogging in general, just the day. She just didn't want to do then the day. She, then she took her nap, and she was good after that. She had a nice night, but yeah, there wasn't but anything. There wasn't anything to vlog. We didn't really do anything. Just kind of <laughs> picked up the house, and I, I edited Priscilla's uh, pots, pans, and Priscilla video, and that's it. So Watch the Olympics. Yeah, watch some Olympics. Watch some, what do we watch? The dance? Skating? Yeah, thing? Dance. Um, hey, you gotta come eat if you want to eat. Do you guys watch the Olympics? Come on. We enjoy them. Abigail getting your cereal. She's in a great mood today. And you look super cute. Yeah. Mm. Fanny bought her some new tops. You look too precious. <laughs> she even smiled for my picture a minute ago. Aw, that never happens. So we're going to take Abigail to school. It's Monday. You guys know what I do on Mondays. So I got a guy at the shop that watches the front counter. So it allows me to get some stuff done. Is Abby taking the chicken Alfredo? She for lunch? Ooh. Abby's getting chicken Alfredo for lunch. That's what Priscilla made on her cooking channel on this last video. So you guys have to go check that out. The outtakes at the end are hilarious. I was cracking up last night in the middle of the night editing it. It's so funny. It had been beautiful and sunny for the last couple of days. Now we have rain. Even our weather feels like Monday. <laughs> it was pouring this morning. Pouring rain. Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing today? I don't remember our schedule. We have we have to pick up shirts. And we have lots of mail and stuff. Oh, okay. Get all that stuff out. Right? Yeah. This afternoon, we're taking Abigail to the town center to get fitted for her outfits for the fashion show. Oh, yeah. Abby has the uh, special needs fashion show coming up and it benefits, it benefits Camp I Am Special, the summer camp that she goes to. So you guys definitely stick around for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see her walk the walk the catwalk. I know. We, we bought, a, <laughs> bought a table so we'll have nine people at our table watching her. Sweet. Yeah. Alright, we got to stop vlogging so that she can listen to music. That's what she's yelling for. <laughs> We're not coming back that way. No. Holy cow. That's the third accident I've passed. We've been in the car almost an hour. That guy was sideways. I know. <coughs> oh my gosh. I know. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, school, excited. Wee wee. Mm. Hey, have a fantastic Monday. 
Mm. Come on. You gotta wear them. You take them off once you get in. Okay. Bye. Bye, Mom. Good job. Come on. Get that thumbnail. <laughs> Come on, we're just saying what every parent thinks every time they drop their kids off at school. This is true. Right? Yeah. Now we get to go to work. Woo woo. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. You did a great job. Thanks. You have no idea what kind of job I did. <laughs> okay. 2 minutes and 40 seconds of video here. I'm assuming you just held it the whole time pointed at the door? I did. <laughs> Got another order picked up. I'm so excited. So excited. I think all of these are sold, right? Almost all of them are sold. That's a lot of shirts. I think not all of those are sold. Almost all though. There's a few left. Okay. Yeah, there's a few left. Um, and about half of the first order, the autism shirts. Yeah. Uh, the different perspective shirts, about half of those are sold. But um, we're, that order should be ready soon too. Cool. And we'll pick those up and get those sent out. Yep. So excited. I can't wait to get my shirt. Like, I'm, <laughs> I've been waiting for that one. Look what happened. Oh my goodness. Uh, we missed it. We <laughs> like watching it roll over to 60,000. 60,000. You guys are amazing. Y'all make me like tear up. 60,000 people. Do you know how many people that is? You put your seatbelt on. I am. Well, I didn't realize you were driving it. Okay. That is, that is as many people as fit into Jaguar Stadium. Wow. Yeah. You guys want to come for a party? That's, we could have it at Jaguar Stadium. Yeah. Like everybody. Yeah. Holy crap, could you imagine that many people Mr. like Con. I'm sure he'll that's 60,000 but we miss it We like watching it roll over and there was like a little glitch so it jumped up like 45 subs all at once Thank you guys so much. I'm bummed, but I'm super excited, but I'm bummed that I missed the rollover <laughs> I like watching that number roll I know. over. Wow 60,000 60,000 60, people watchers See, there are people like me out people in this watchers. world. People watchers. People watchers. <laughs> That's what I think of our YouTube family as. Oh. The ultimate people watchers. Hey, we need to answer some more questions. Okay. Let me get my seatbelt on. Okay, Lori F. says, what will Abby's needs be as she becomes an adult as opposed to her needs now as a child? She will wear bigger clothes and eat more food. <laughs> I mean, it's just like anybody's needs. Our needs all change the older we get, right? Yeah, and I, I think. Answer that. Okay, so well, her needs are going to change, but her her independent living skills are going to increase the older she gets, just because of working on them over time. Um, her needs, as long as we're healthy and able to to care for her then a lot of it, a lot of it won't really change. You know, it'll just, it'll be depending on her, like what she's capable of, of doing as far as her skills. And Jennifer Lynn said, if Isaiah chooses a college far away, how do you think it will affect Abby? Well, he goes away for the summer now and it does affect her. Yeah. She's constantly looking in his room for him. Even though we, um, you know, we FaceTime and we talk about where he's at. And I mean, that's our, that's our buddy. Yeah. That's Abigail doesn't get near as much from, from FaceTime yeah. as other people do. Like, she doesn't, like, she gets so excited when Summer shows up. Yeah. But, but she doesn't when, when Summer's on FaceTime. Right. And we FaceTime with Summer all the time. Yeah. And Abby's just not interested. She's like, yeah, I'm, I need them, like, here and now so I can touch them. <laughs> so it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for everybody. You know, I, Isaiah um, is her, like Priscilla said, he's her buddy. So they're, they're, they fight, like they wrestle together. Yeah. So she likes to try and wrestle with me. Well, I'm not a wrestler. I'm like, go get your brother. He wrestles. So you'll have to start becoming a wrestler. No, you're going to have saying. to wrestle. 
So yeah, it's gonna be a, a hard adjustment for all of us because, I mean, he's our our buddy too. Yeah. Like, he's our guy. Well, and that's why I want him to go away to college too, because I don't want him to feel obligated that he has to come home all the time. Right. You yeah, know, like sure. I want that him to sense. have that college experience, and I feel like if he were near us, he that's just his personality. You know, he would want to help. Yes. Like he was leaving yesterday to go to the movies with my mom and Abby was just being difficult and he's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, buddy, it's okay. Like, leave. We got this. You know, so I, I think that that would just carry on. I agree. So he needs to, he needs to fly, spread his wings, fly away. Kavita Diva said, hi, I've asked this in comments before, so I'll try again. I know that one of the stems that Abby likes is to rock back and forth really hard. What I've always wondered is, has she ever hurt herself from doing that behavior? Like, has she ever made her neck go out of whack or hurt her back or any damage to her physically? Not that we're aware of. No. She is, like, she's so aware of, like, where her head is when she's rocking. It's crazy. She like, comes within, like, centimeters <laughs> of hitting her, yeah. her head on stuff. Um, and she's, I don't think she's ever done it. No. Not, not when rocking. But it's it's great, like windowsills and like the table when she's sitting at the table never hit her head. Abby's hair always looks well trimmed. How do you approach having her haircut? Well, I will put a link right up here for the haircut video, and then you can check that out to answer that question. Okay, the last question for today. It's a good one because we've talked about this before. Pamela Price said, "Do you think Abby feels pain differently from us?" Yes. So she has a much higher... From, from us humans. I'm sorry. It was just a funny wording to the question. She has a much higher pain tolerance than we do. Yes. But she... Like cage fighter. She'd be a good cage fighter. So if she, she cries never about something, it's not necessarily because she's She would hurt. never tap out. Oh my gosh. Sorry. You need to focus. Okay. When she does get hurt or when she does cry, it's not necessarily because she's actually hurt. I think it's because she gets scared yeah sometimes yeah she rarely cries for pain yeah like I, I don't know the last time I saw her cry for pain I know now she'll like <clears throat> hold her hand or a foot or something like that right you can tell it hurt her but not like like stubbing your toe nah like she she just keeps going yeah keeps trucking <laughs> she's tough I don't think she processes pain the same way that that we do which would make sense because uh you know that's one of the senses right you know touch is one of the senses how, how you how you feel things and she uh, loves okay so <laughs> she loves heat uh -huh. and she likes to put her hand back flip it over backwards and touch hot things yeah like that's why we can't have her in the kitchen a lot because she's constantly and so if she were to burn herself her pain tolerance is higher than what the actual burn would cause harm to her. Yeah, right? I well, you know, like most burns, it would it would hurt more later. Yeah. And, and but she would put her hand on a hot pot. Um, she like candles and stuff like that with Isaiah. Like when he was a baby, I let him touch a candle because he was so interested in it. What was yeah. like one yeah. one and a half something like that. So interested in it, so I let him touch it, and he never touched it again. And you know, he cried for a minute or whatever. Abigail has never cried over that stuff. No. So yeah, fun fact super high tolerance for uh for pain and she doesn't get dizzy so it's very common for uh well the pain tolerance is common for kids with autism yeah so is, so is the not getting dizzy thing yeah like abigail can spin and spin and spin on her swing get off and walk just fine yeah fun fact you might have not known that if you have a child with autism you probably do but uh yeah interesting yeah all right guys we got to uh get all this stuff packed up and sent out um to you guys and to other people we got to little care package going to summer school. They're gonna be super surprised when they see that, although I just ruined the surprise with this vlog. But that's okay. Uh, we're gonna get all this stuff done. Oh, another bit of news, just info for you. Some of you have had problems sending us messages on Facebook. It's because I no longer have messages set up on Facebook. Um, not because we're mean or because we don't love you, but Priscilla tries to respond to all of them and with us growing so quickly, we have a lot of people messaging on Facebook and she decided she doesn't care about answering them anymore. 
I did not. You weren't paying attention? I didn't feel like you were paying attention. I was just making I was. sure. Okay. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it takes so much time. Like, she, it consumes half of her day. So, um, I made the decision myself. You can be mad at me. I'm sorry. But feel free to comment on the stuff uh, that we post on Facebook and all that. And, you know, of course, we'll reply back when not. But um, it's just, it's super hard to keep up with everything twitter and instagram and facebook and all that and she gets so many messages all the time so that's why that is what it is i'm sorry sorry be mad at me not her all right guys we're gonna get this stuff sent out to you if you ordered things they're they're, they're not all on their way but some of them will be on their way and uh we will see you guys next time bye <laughs> sorry i'm writing the note bye guys we'll see you next time I'm putting on lipstick. I'm putting on lipstick. <sighs> you know, you really take the real out of the real life. This is real life, Ace. People think your lips are, are colored that way all the time. When it's not true. You're basically a liar. <laughs> Shut up. What are you doing? Make a face to the camera. And I've heard that that's pretty common. Oh my gosh, that guy just spit. You're gonna step in his spit. Dude, you good? Look at him, he's just walking and spitting, walking and spitting. Y'all, don't spit on the ground where people have to step in your spit, that's gross. Give it back on topic. Oh my gosh, he looked like he vomited out of his mouth just now. Oh my, well that's where most people vomit out of. Okay, <laughs> getting dizzy. Oh.